Hi, welcome to the Game Splanner. I'm Jeff the Game Splanner, and today I'm Game Splanning Dust in the Wings. So this is the setup for Dust in the Wings. You will notice if you look closely that two flowers means two butterflies. That's all the flowers on the things actually mean. So if there's three, there's three, there's one, there's one. Once you have set up, those flowers mean absolutely nothing. The aim of the game is to get points. You get points by fulfilling these cards or these cards. What you are going to do on your turn is you will pick up any square worth of butterflies and you'll place them back out going orthogonally adjacent from where you start. So for example, if you pick up these three butterflies, you'll then place the first one either here, 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 or here. Let's say for example, he goes there. Then the second one can go here, here, or here. No, she can't step straight back onto the spot that you just left. Let's say for example, he goes there. And then you can go there, there, or there. Let's say he goes there. Now the square that you are worried about is this square, the place where you put the last butterfly. What you're trying to do is to get one of the squares to have either one of these three cards. You'll notice that this square has that card, two of the reds and one of the yellow, but his final position was this one, so he can't claim that one. The other thing that you could do if you haven't been able to get any of those cards is to take one of these cards, if you have managed to make your final square part of the pattern. So this one is looking for that pattern. So it could be these two and these two. It could be these two and these two. It could be these two and these two. You can see how it can be any direction, but as long as this one is one of those four spots, but it's, that one is looking for all four of the squares that make up that pattern to have 17 or more butterflies in it. This one is looking for a square, so this one, this one, this one, this one, or etc., to have three or less butterflies in it. And this one is looking for every square within that pattern to have the same number of butterflies. So at the moment, there's only one there, there's two there, there's two there, that wouldn't work. There's three in this one, two, two, three, etc. So it may take a few turns to actually get there. What then happens at the end of the turn, so he hasn't been able to claim any yet, that's okay. We go into the bag and pull out three crystals, putting one on each card. What those crystals do is make the card more valuable. So when you achieve one of those cards, you will get the crystals that are on that card. Black crystals are worth one point at the end of the game. The clear or white crystals are worth two points at the end of the game. With these cards, the number of points you're getting at the end of the game is in that top section. So all the cards that are out at the moment have three points on them at the end of the game. So let's say it's the second person's turn. So what he might do, for example, is grab that pile, put one there, one there, and one there. What he's now achieved is this card because there are three butterflies in that spot, three in that spot, that spot, that spot. So it's gone this way. So he gets to claim that card. A new card would come out. We would put three more crystals on those cards at the top. One, two, three and then it would go to the other player's turn. You can see how this game is kind of adding up with the, the, the thought process and the everything that goes into it. This, the first player against this two player game might, for example, choose this pile, put one there, one there, and one there. What he's now achieved in that final square is this one. So he gets all those crystals and pull that card out of the way. So notice that's looking for two red and a yellow, which he's got in his final positioning. So that's got him four points for the end of the game. The other player is currently sitting on three points at the end of the game. You flick out a new card. Now, because you now need to add crystals, these ones are actually full. They've got three crystals each. So what happens is these crystals go back into the bag. Those cards go to a discard pile. So back into the bag. We refill each of the spots 
and then one crystal comes out onto each of them and you continue on. The game will finish when this bag is empty of crystals. Notice that the unused crystals there went back into the bag, so that will extend the length of the game. But that is pretty much it. It's just thinking, how can I make the appropriate shapes or the appropriate number of butterflies in my last square, or at least including the last square that you use. I will leave that there. Please go ahead and watch my games play to get a feel for how the game actually plays. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you have any games that you would like to be gamesplained, please shoot me an email to thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplainer to keep up to date with the games that I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.